you may be looking for a career. Change. As a professional security guard, protecting people and their property away from harm. One of the most important tools a security guard should have is what we call communication skills. In today's video, we are going to look at what is really communication. What are some of the communication skills you need to have as a security guard? What does it take to communicate? What are the types of the communications that we have? What are the modes? And how definitely, what are the requirements? What are the tools do you need to effectively make a communication message? Communication is very important part of the security guards. Work on a regular basis, making information known by speech writing or messages. Communication is a two-way process consisting of the sender and the receiver. The sender is the person who transmits the message and the receiver is the person who receives the message. Methods of communication include the verbal and the non-verbal, radio, call signs, and phonetic alphabets, telephone, or even what we call the written communication in messages. Remember, communication also includes what you call report writing. They will include a pocket book, they will include reports, statements, logs, and registers are also part of what you call communication. In other words, for you to have effective communications, we definitely need to look at what you call the basic components that make up communication. The transmission using speech, signal and writing. The reception which includes listening, watching and reading. Then also to more to clarify, the understanding process does not work unless the information is understood. So you need to effectively give out the right message, clearly, simple and precise. The feedback, this is confirmation that the message has been received and understood. That is why it is always very important to take a follow-up of whatever is being communicated or whatever is being said. There are three main ways of how to communicate. You can either use verbal or what you call oral communication, the visual or what you call the written communications, or what you call the non-verbal communication. However, something that also you need to know that these three main aspects of communication can later be broken down to follow what you call the basic rules of communication. In other words, let us look at the basic rules of communication. Listen to what is being said, not what you think you had. That is one quality that should be possessed by a security guard. If you are not sure what was meant, ask for what you call clarification. Let's say, for example, you are speaking on radio and you did not get the message rightly. Request for a recent of that message so that you can have a proper clarification. Do not adopt what you call aggressive tones. You need to be polite for you to receive the message. And you must be a very good listener to get the message. Do not use slangs or jargons. For example, if you want to get the message well and interpret the message, be polite at all times so that even the people around you can receive your message or can be available to listen to you. 
be firm but not demanding sir or madam are easy words think before you speak for example you can say hello sir can i have your message again hello madam come again hello madam sorry those polite words can be the easiest thing to help you or guide you as you are communicating communication we still need to know what to do when it comes to reporting and recording reports and records are a sample form of communication for security guards the key purposes of reports and records is to obtain all the necessary information and evaluate the information successfully it should be remembered that the reports are factual documents that in some cases reports can become part of legal cases with this in mind it's critical that all reports records reflect the fact alone and not friction so write what you had write what you saw not write what someone else told you it's a better tool when it comes to reporting and recording record the time the the event and record the place where the information is coming from at no point should content of the report be disclosed to a third party outside the company in many cases reports and records follow different format which is dependent on the company or what we call the customer requirement there are some simple rules to creating effective and useful reports and records despite what you call the format required keeping in mind following guidelines in your reporting definitely this will be dependent on the client or will be dependent on the company requirements when it comes to reporting still something that you need to know never at all time disclose the information to a third party especially if that person or if that entity is outside the company structures remember something that you need to note when it comes to reporting and recording know whom the report is addressed to who is it from the subject matter of the report the body of the report then is there any action that is taken after your reporting you need always to follow up for such kind of instances where is the report addressed to then any recommendation in case you are to give a recommendation definitely you can include it in part of your written report remember always remember to report for information without a beauty always report any information without being biased in one way or the other hope i've tried to share up something for you and hope you've tried to get up something for you thank you so much if you think security as a career definitely this will be a very important skill or will be a very good skill that is going to make you advance to other levels thank you so much get you in yet in another format see you again